If you are working on Xcode and developing an application or game project on iOS and at some point you have updated your iOS version, if it's a major release, now it's possible your device does not support with the existing Xcode version. And normally after that you also update your Xcode version and along with that sometime you also have to update your Mac OS as well. And most of the time it's not easy and feasible to do all the updates. In this video I will walk through the solution of adding a new iOS support with your existing Xcode version. My name is Tanvir Saber and let's take a look into the solution step by step. On my device current version is iOS 15. I have two updates available iOS 15.7 and iOS 16.1 but I will be updating to 16. Download and install it. After installing the update we are at version 16 and these are some new features in this OS. After installing the OS, the first time you will connect your device to MacBook, it will start some downloading to make it work with your MacBook. And now it's time to test your device with Xcode. As I am working in Unity creating Xcode project, open your Xcode project, connect your device and select to run the build but you can see it shows unsupported OS version. That means we have updated the device but this Xcode version does not support it. Trying to create a build on this device but it shows not supported. At this point my Xcode version is 13.3. and macOS version is 12.5. Instead of completely upgrading the Xcode software, we will just add the device support. Open this GitHub link to download the supported files. I have given the link in the description. Scroll down to version 16 and download the files. And you can follow the same step for future updates as well. Downloading the file on desktop. Once the downloading is complete, unzip the file. After the unzip, we got a new folder with the name 16.1 and these are the files that will support the new OS. Next we will find the folder to place these files into Xcode. Open the application folder and search for Xcode. Right click on it and select show package content. Open contents folder. Select developer and then platform. iPhone OS dot platform and then device support. And these are the Xcode files to support the OS. We simply drag and drop 16.1 folder. Enter your machine credentials. So at this point Xcode have the required file of new OS. But still we need few more steps to make it completely work. Let's jump back to Xcode and see does the device support now. Still it's showing unsupported OS version. Let's try closing the Xcode completely and reopen it. Opening the project again. And now we can see there is no warning of unsupported device. Select the device and create and run the build. The build is succeeded, now it will try to install and run the build on the device. But we got error, failed to prepare device for development. Next we will follow the instruction of this error. We will restart the Mac OS and also the iPhone. Closing the Xcode and now restarting the MacBook. Now let's see does it fix or not. 
open the Xcode project, select the device and try to run it again. Build is succeeded, but we still have the error. I think to fix this we need to turn on the developer mode on iPhone. Go to privacy and security, scroll down and select developer mode. And please turn on the developer mode and yes restart the device. Coming back to Xcode, try again to run and install the build. Build succeeded. Okay, that error is gone, but now we have something else. Wait for a while to complete it. Unlock your device in case it's locked and this will fix automatically. From status, we can see build successfully installed and running. And now let's try it one more time. With wire reconnecting the device, it will automatically detect and now run the build. And now without error, build is succeeded, it's installing on the device and now it's running on the device. And that was a simple walkthrough of using the latest iOS version with your current Xcode. Thank you and I see you in the next.